हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्टॉपिंग साइड डिस्टेंस इट इज डिफाइंड एज द मिनिमम साइड डिस्टेंस अवेलेबल ऑन अ हाईवे एट एनी स्पॉट हैविंग सफिशिएंट लेंथ टू इनेबल द ड्राइवर टू स्टॉप अ व्हीकल ट्रैवलिंग विदाउट कोलिजन विद एनी ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इट मींस दैट it is the minimum side distance available on a particular highway which enable the driver to stop a vehicle without collision with any obstruction now diagram is shown on your screen which is like this at this point driver has seen the obstruction which is here when the driver seen the obstruction message goes into his mind and he takes some time before the application of the brake now during this time the distance traveled by the vehicle is this so this distance is known as lag distance now at this point driver applied the brake and after the application of brake vehicle travel some distance so this distance is known as braking distance now the total available distance is this that is this distance up to this obstruction and the stopping side distance is this distance now the minimum height of obstruction should be at least 0.15 meter and the height of driver i is at least 1.2 meter above the pavement now we have to find this lag distance and braking distance so that we can easily compute the stopping side distance now the assumptions which are taken during the derivation of stopping side distance the first assumption is height of obstruction is 0.15 meter which we had already discussed height of driver i is 1.2 meter and the brake efficiency is 100% now the first one is lag distance it is the distance traveled by the vehicle in reaction time okay now it will be equals to v into tr that is v is the speed of vehicle in kilometer per hour and tr is the reaction time by this formula the lag distance will comes in kilometer but we want lag distance in meter so we had converted the kilometer per hour into meter per second by multiplying it with 0.278 how it comes we have to convert kilometer into meter so we will need to multiply in numerator by 1000 that will convert kilometer into meter and in denominator we need to convert the r into second for which we need 3600 seconds after solving this we will get the value as 0.278 so we had multiplied here 0.278 v into tr we will put the value of v in kilometer in this equation and the value of tr in second after solving this the lag distance will comes in meter so by this formula we can compute the lag distance now what is the value of tr here tr is known as reaction time reaction time is the total time taken by the driver for the application of brake now we know that this tr can be computed by the peep theory that is perception intellection emotion and volition perception is that time loss in perceiving any object here the driver has seen the obstruction now after seeing the obstruction it will send the message into brain and in brain intellection and emotion will takes place intellection is the time loss in understanding the situation and emotion is the time loss due to anger or fear after intellection and emotion the final step is the volition which is shown here this is the time loss in final action that is application of brake after volition driver applies the brake as per indian road congress the reaction time for stopping side distance is generally 2.5 seconds for overtaking side distance the reaction time is 2 seconds and for minimum space headway the reaction time is 0.7 seconds now we will see the overtaking side distance as well as minimum space headway as our lecture proceeds now we had computed the lag distance that will be equals to 0.278 v into tr now we have to calculate the braking distance it is the distance traveled by the vehicle after application of brake before stopping it means that when the brake is applied 
vehicle will travel some distance and that distance is known as braking distance we have generally three cases when the vehicle is moving up the gradient when the vehicle is moving down the gradient and when the vehicle is moving on flat road now we will see one by one each and every case in detail starting with the first case when vehicle is moving up the gradient which is shown here now the direction of movement of vehicle is like this at this point the brake is applied and after the application of brake vehicle will travel some distance that distance is known as braking distance that is lb and after lb distance vehicle will stop speed of the vehicle just before the application of the brake is v gradient is s and coefficient of friction between the tire and the pavement is small f we need to compute the value of braking distance now the weight of the vehicle will be like this that is mg and this angle is theta so if this angle is theta and this is mg so this component will be mg cos theta and this component will be mg sin theta and here the friction force is already acting so the total resistive force will be equals to mg sin theta plus f now we know that frictional force will be equals to small f into n n is the normal reaction which is acting like this so what will be the value of total resistive force it will be equals to mg sin theta plus small f into n now n will be equals to mg cos theta so we will put the value of n here that is small f into mg cos theta now we will take mg common so it will be equals to mg sin theta plus f cos theta we will divide these values by cos theta so it will be equals to mg cos theta sin theta upon cos theta it will be tan theta and cos theta upon cos theta it will be equals to 1 so that value will be equals to mg cos theta into tan theta plus f as theta is very small cos theta will be equals to 1 because cos 0 is 1 so we will put this cos theta equals to 1 total resistive force will be equals to mg tan theta plus f change in kinetic energy will be equals to work done here the kinetic energy will be equals to half mv square when the brake is applied and when vehicle is stopped then the kinetic energy will be equals to zero and work done will be equals to force into displacement now force will be equals to a total resistive force so it will be equals to mg tan theta plus f and the distance will be equals to lb that is the braking distance which is shown here so from this m this m will cancel out and we will have the value of lb equals to v square upon 2g tan theta plus f now we will replace tan theta by s that is the gradient so it will be equals to v square upon 2g f plus s now breaking distance will be equals to v square upon 2g f plus s by using this equation we will compute the breaking distance in kilometer because v is in kilometer per hour but we want breaking distance in meter so we need to convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second for which we need to multiply here 0.278 v whole square upon 2 into the value of acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 f plus s on solving this we will get lb is equals to v square upon 254 f plus s that will be the final equation for the calculation of braking distance which will be equals to v square upon 254 f plus s where v is in kilometer per hour and lb is in meter so we had computed the braking distance when the vehicle is moving up the gradient now the second case is when vehicle is moving down the gradient that is gradient considered as negative so braking distance will be equals to 
v square upon 254 f minus s and when vehicle is moving on flat road so the value of s will be equals to 0 so if s will be equals to 0 the braking distance will be equals to v square upon 254 f which is shown here now note is written here that is stopping side distance will be equals to lag distance plus braking distance we had already computed the value of lag distance which will be equals to 0.278 v into tr where tr is the reaction time plus v square upon 254 f plus minus s plus sign is used when vehicle is moving up the gradient and minus sign is used when vehicle is moving down the gradient for single lane two way traffic which is shown in this figure the side distance will be equals to ssd1 plus ssd2 because one vehicle is moving from this direction and another vehicle is moving from this direction so it will be equals to ssd1 plus ssd2 now if v1 is equals to v2 it means that the velocity of this vehicle is equals to velocity of this vehicle then it will be equals to two times of ssd now for single lane one way traffic it means that when there will be a single lane and when there will be only one way traffic then the side distance will be equals to only the stopping side distance that is ssd for two lane two way traffic side distance will be equals to stopping side distance because in this lane vehicle is moving only in one way and in this lane the vehicle is moving only in one way so it will be equals to just like this case that will be equals to stopping side distance that is all about the stopping side distance thank you very much students